All righty, we're back here for our second final of the day. We have world champ from years past, Misa Bastos, taking on Jessica Caroline from Coyote Terror Association. Jessica, a bit of a newcomer here. And Misa right in her element. Quick to a double guard pull. And Misa is more than happy to invert Jake. Yeah, absolutely. Misa, as far as I have seen her compete, has been relatively dominant. Um, just a really a mainstay champion in this division and it's an interesting challenge for Caroline to let's see how she deals with the inversions of Maisa. Maisa is really good at inverting going for Baron Bolos. She's very technical and aggressive. And the referee is going to stand them both up, penalty each. Jessica Caroline beat the number two seed, Serena Gabrielli, on her way to the final. That was a semifinal match. That earned her spot today against the favorite, Misa Bastos. Misa defeated her rival, on-time rival, Brenda Larissa. They've gone back and forth now. This is a very dangerous deep de heave hook with Misa Bastos' left leg. You see her underhooking, putting the bend of her elbow on the ankle of Jessica Caroline, looking for a possible Brenda Bolo, and here she exposes the back. Just as I say that, just as I get excited, they stand them right back up. Seems that the finger of Jessica Carolina is stuck in the pants of Maisa Bastos. Never feels great when that happens. That was rough. Another double pull, and as the referee looks at their watch, you have to think that either of these athletes might be a little bit more prone to standing up. Looks like Misa is considering it. There she goes, she's on her feet. She'll take the advantage for that. Immediately circling out her hand on that lasso too on the right side. Maisa looking to invert off of a pass to look for the back. She's a grip on the back. Oh, the grip is increasing on the back of Jessica Caroline. She's really chasing this here. May have to come up for a leg drag as well. Or keeping the roll for the back. The bottom of her right foot on the bend of her knee. Now she's switching to a crab ride position. Two butterfly hooks on either leg. Good defense for Jessica Caroline, keeping her back on the mat, not allowing Maisa to climb any further up her back. Still Maisa staying so tight in this position. It's a great opportunity for her. She's gonna have to kind of be very patient as she methodically works her way towards her destination here. Go Misa now, moving forward oh, here. Oh, has one hook in. Jessica Caroline keeping her back against the mat. That's what she needs to do. She can't let Maisa see her back patch. That right grip of Jessica Caroline is actually paying wonders for her in this situation. If she loses that grip, it could be detrimental. My 
Mesa slowly working that right hand grip a little bit looser, one at a time. Simultaneously elevating the hips, getting underneath Jessica there. But really, she's right where she wants to be. She'll take as long as she needs to to climb on the back here. Absolutely, the ball's in her court, and we're only halfway, we're nearing the halfway point of this match. Maesa has one hook deep, a lockdown on it, and the only thing separating her really from completing this back take is that right hand grip. Of course, she takes the back, she'll be awarded four points, and she'll be in a great position with only half a match to go. Okay, the grip is free. Now she's looking to pry open that right leg of Jessica Caroline so she can make room for her hook. You see her lock her legs. She's gonna pry open the hip. She's hunting for the neck immediately. Looks like she already has a grip with that right hand. Oh, switches it to a neck crank. Oh, now she's trapped the arm. And that arm trap was looks like it might have been enough time for her to secure that right hand choking grip. Mice has also received her four points. She's now moving on to hump for the submission here. Four minutes left to go. Mice are right where she wants to be. Four minutes is so much time to work for this, but it's looking like as she increases her grip, she might not need all that time. She throws a right leg over the head. Will this be that's it? Tight. That's tight. There's a finish. And that's it. Maisa Bastos once again, rooster weight female world champion. In another dominant performance by Maisa Bastos. Flawless work, really a, a one-sided match once Mice decided to come up and after her passing game, it took as long as she needed, was patient, methodical, got the back, got the choke. What's interesting about her game is even if she wants to be on top, she's still barren bowling you. She's still inverting off of leg drags and you're always under threat of a back attack and that is a very scary place to be. Not safe if you're on top, not safe if you're on bottom and Maisa is putting on master classes of how to take the back from different positions. And your 2021 adult female black belt rooster weight champion is Maisa Bastos, representing GFT. Let's take a uh, quick look at some of the moments from this match here. We saw it open up with some double guard pull exchanges and this is how it ended with this amazing finish here from my Sebasto securing the choke, getting it done, securing her second world title. Yeah, pretty great work from Maisa Bastos. I mean, her ability to take the back from different positions is really something to behold. I think it's something that a lot of people...